All right, good day. This is Michael with Iconesis. Today we'll be doing a real-time workflow video of shooting a ring, silver ring, in 360 product view using our medium USB turntable acrylic 360 riser, our Shutterstream 360 software, along with one of our LumiPad LED lighting kits and a Canon DSLR camera. I've connected my camera via USB to my computer and that's actually a real-time preview of what our camera sees. As you can see, my hand going back and forth in front of the camera. Uh, the first thing that we're going to notice here is that our product is a little bit out of focus. So I'm going to go and view it up close one to one and start to adjust my focal point through mouse clicks. And you can see just a couple clicks I was able to bring it back into focus. That looks quite good there. The second thing that we're going to notice is that it is, uh, it is uh, pretty, uh, pretty under expo underexposed. So I'm going to make a couple quick adjustments here to my shutter speed to adjust my exposure and that actually looks quite good there um, after I set my focal point and my camera settings those are going to be retained from shot to shot. Um, next I'm going to enter into the 360 shooting mode and I'm going to pre-rotate my turntable. Now what I want to do in this is first visually ensure that I position my object in the center of the turntable. Second of all if you watch the rectangle that I'm creating on our screen here that's actually a real or sorry a pre crop marker so it's only going to take a picture of what's inside this crop area that I define um, when we enter into the shooting mode so being able to pre crop it before we even start shooting is going to save us a lot of time in our post production process and here it looks like we've done a pretty good job at positioning our object in the center and I'll probably just drag my crop just a little bit wider just to uh, give some ample room on the edges. Okay, so that looks quite good there. Um, I'm gonna stop my turntable at uh, where I wish to shoot my first frame. Users have full control over the number of frames from eight up to 72. I'll shoot 24 for the purpose of this demo, and I will hit start. This is going to automate my image capture process in a turn, stop, snap workflow. Uh, the first image is captured, then it is uploaded to our computer, as we can see here, and uh, it will continue in that process until it completes the 24 frames. Okay, so we're finalizing our 360 image capture process. Uh, the entire process took about two minutes to shoot the 24 frames. We can see we're notified that the image capture process is complete. Um, we can inspect each individual image should we require. Um, I'm going to trust that all are good. Select my images in a batch process and enter into the 360 editing mode. Um, inside of here we do have a vast image editing suite in which we can start to make some changes. So maybe I'll increase my sharpness a tad to increase my image quality. I'll adjust my levels just a tad too. Maybe I'll take them down to about 250 on the white levels. And uh, maybe I'll add just a little bit of a little bit of saturation and just a uh, probably just a tad contrast. So once I've made my editing changes, I'm actually going to hit apply to all. So in a batch process, it's going to apply those to the entire set of images. You can see it's a pretty fast process. That operation is complete. Now we're going to go ahead and output these. I'm going to call this silver ring dash. It's going to batch rename our files. Uh, 0, 1 through 24. I can also choose the batch resize if I want. Maybe I need these on my website at say 800 pixels wide. Users can also choose a resolution watermark transfer to an FTP. But I'm going to hit OK. That is going to batch output the set of images and we can see these images being output here. And then our last step to create our 360 product view is we're going to open the included 360 view creator application drag and drop the set of images inside of the application and again this is going to create our 360 view in an HTML format, uh, pardon me, HTML5 format. You can see they're user interactive. So I'll just call this uh, Silver Ring 360. I'll put it to whatever folder I specify and we're going to be able to view the 360 file right here. And let's actually go and view that in a web browser just so you can see the actual output file that we just created. Uh, this 360 view can then be uh, put onto uh, your own servers uh, and when it's hosted then you can easily embed it into your website as you can see here an interactive 360 product view with pure white backgrounds in just a few minutes. Uh, let us know if there's any questions. Thank you.